Now, we're going to talk about something which hadn't been achieved in years. An online book dreamed up by a startup company was the best selling of last year. Lost my name. This is what it's all about. This is Amber. We've made Amber a special book just for her. She meets a friendly aardvark who gives her the first letter of its name. Next, she meets a rather vain mermaid and a bear who really needs his sleep. A very forgetful elephant and a happy robot. Each character... Well, Asi Sharabi is a co-founder of the personalised children's book, and Lost My Name, and he's here. Good to see you. Um, Morning. It, Morning. I can see the appeal of this. I can see what trying to, to personalise something to a child is as clearly a successful way of trying to get kids into, into the, the literacy and improve literacy levels. Absolutely. I think that one of the best compliments that uh, we receive from our customers is uh, these emails from um, mums who are telling us that their child's been a quite reluctant reader and since they got the Lost My Name book, uh, they've, you know, they've kind of rekindled the love to, to books. So um, hopefully that's what it does. It's something fantastic for a child, realising that they've been referenced in a book, a printed copy of a book, and that's actually their name appearing before them. So it brings words completely to life. Mm -hmm. The fact that this is online, I mean, a lot of this is, is done online. I mean, digital books are, are clearly, you know, very, very important. But is, is there an issue? Do you see a, a difference between a, a digital copy and a, a real copy, a hard copy, in terms so of children? So Lost My Name is only a hard copy book. Um, so you can't get a, a digital version at all? No, only when you preview the book uh, on the website, when you want to create one. Uh, you can preview the book in full, but uh, if you like the book, if you uh, go down the funnel and purchase the book, uh, you get your... Uh, physical copy. So, so why, why is that important? I mean, obviously a lot of people are using digital readers mm. and Kindles and what have you. Is it important from a child's perspective to have something real in their hands, do you think? I, I personally think that with the um, explosion of screens and uh, the abundance of screens, I think that uh, traditional ways of enjoying stories in a, you know, old-fashioned physical book are ever more important today. And um, we see that people really connect to that, you know, the, the physicality of the product. People just like, the, you know, like the, the, the sense of it, the feel of it, the, the smell of it even. And they really enjoy that experience. We seem to be at a point where there's, there are all, well, it's been around for a long time, but there are a lot of concerns about literacy. Um, and yet, it, when we get something that really appeals to the youth, people really sort of bite into the idea. Why do you think we don't, certainly in this country, <clears throat> have this sort of cons consistent level of, of getting children into books? Is it a school issue? Is it a, is it a parental issue? Um, well, what, from what we know, it's really interesting because we looked at the, uh, the data uh, and for at least two years, two years running now, uh, picture book sales are actually up 8% last year, 10% uh, this year. So. I think that this notion that uh, screens or you know, e-readers are you know, killing the old print books are not quite accurate, uh, especially in the context of, of, uh, of children's book. This has clearly worked very well. Presumably for you as a company, you've got the potential now to, to actually bring a whole load of products on board here. Well, that's the plan. We've got, uh, <laughs> makes you smile. We've got a few more surprises in the uh, in the pipeline. We're hoping to launch the new uh, the new product, the new IP, um, towards uh, April, maybe May this year. Uh, and this time, it's not going to uh, involve your name, but uh, rather uh, locality. So it involves a lot of spaceships and uh, space travel. Mm. So you, you perhaps hoping oh. to make it specific to the child, so maybe the spaceship lands in their street or at their school and the names of the schools and... You're kind of That's getting really idea. close to the idea, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I think I might have to order a copy of that myself. Sounds <laughs> just my cup of tea. It's really good to talk to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very have much indeed.